How do you want to turn a product from concept to execution? What is a concept? You mean product concept? Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee. I help engineers and international professionals transition from a worker bee to a product manager and business leader. Today, I'm going to teach you how to answer this must ask question in the product manager interview. Tell me a time when you turn a product from concept to execution. As a hiring manager myself, I've interviewed more than 100 candidates, and in addition, I manage senior product managers. I can tell you the best way to answer this question based on the success stories and the failure I have seen. First of all, you need to understand the true reason behind this question. There's always a specific checklist behind all the interviewers that, like myself, I have a specific things I'm looking for, but I never tell you. So in general, when people ask you this question, tell me a time when you turn a product into execution in the product management interviews, they're looking for two things. First of all, have you already done product management work before, or was your prior experience similar to the true product management experience? And the second, they also want to understand, did you use the modern methodology to launch a product? You know, there's a waterfall, there's agile process. Nowadays, we interview as a product managers, we are looking for those modern product management technology. So when you answer those questions, make sure you put it into the right framework. Now let's dive into the details. How would you use the right framework to answer those questions? Let me break it down into the specific three steps framework. You should tell them that something like this. I'm gonna walk you through the three phases of the product management launch process. Step one is the market research process. Step two is the MVP. Step three is the product launch process. Now let's talk about the market research phase. As an example, when I launched the Smart Cities product a few years ago, I started this market research to understand what customer wants, what's my competitors in the market, what are the alternative solutions. So when you talk about those specific market research, be real. What kind of things did you look for? As I mentioned, the three things I did, you can use other methodology as well. In addition, make sure that you talk about conducting customer interviews. And those words of customer is going to facilitate how you draw your product conclusions and come up with a proposal. Step two is the MVP process. When you talk about the MVP process, make sure you come up with a transition saying that through the market research phase, I discovered that cities do not have the right technology to reduce car crashes. So therefore, I propose this ABC solutions. And then I work with internal engineers to come up with MVP and of course, and model versions of MVP, you should tell them. The first version of MVP is collect data for cities for ABC functions. You talk about you work on MVP and a very simple description of your MVP, just one sentence of your MVP. And then the second part you need to talk about is how you turn it into MMP and continue to evolve. Let me write down here. Talk about the MMP, you need to tell the interviewer that you have worked with stakeholders such as engineering teams, UI UX design, and continue to work in a feedback loop with your customers to come up with the next iteration of your product such as MMP. And third, you need to talk about the product launch. Once you enter the product launch phase, you should go into specific details regarding how you launched the product, who did you work with, and what specific go-to-market strategy you had. And all those keywords are the interviewers were looking for. Okay, and also something I need to remind you is that when you go through different phrases, all three steps, do not go into like too much nitty gritty details. You just need to tell them that how can you use like two or three sentences to describe each steps, what the key learnings, what the key stakeholders you work with. Then you come up with the most important conclusion is that eventually after half a year, we're able to launch the product, eventually to $5 million sales or 100 uh, customer conversion, things like that. You need to end with a very strong conclusion about the impact of your product. So this is the four steps you need to follow in order to answer this question. 
Tell me an example when you turn a product from concept into execution. Hopefully this is going to help you. In addition, I also made several other videos about product manager interview questions and answers. And for example, I made another video about tell me something about yourself. How do you answer this question? This sounds very easy, but behind the scenes, the different things the hiring manager is looking for. You can check the video here. If you're interested in landing a job during the pandemic, and you can join my newsletter about internal referrals, where I was able to pass a resume directly to the hiring manager that all my friends that have built in the past 10 years, I'm more than happy to help you out during the special time. All right, looking forward to seeing you in my next YouTube video. And if you really like this, make sure to smash the like button and comment and share so that I have the motivation to make more videos like this. All right, this is Dr. Nancy Lee. I will see you next time. Bye. Something I forgot to mention, I'm also building a product manager community. And if you're interested in joining my WeChat group or Facebook group, feel free to click the link down below and join me have the weekly discussion about how to become a product manager. We're going to do mock interviews and share job openings in those groups. You can see those two different things down below. I'm going to see you there.